This is Professor Dare of Science. This Java tutorial focuses on composition as an alternative to inheritance. Here's the class diagram for our illustrative example. In the inheritance tutorials, reuse was provided by a base class. In this tutorial, we turn things outside in to show how inheritance can be simulated via the composition relationship. Composition is a whole to part relationship. The lifetime of the part is dependent on the lifetime of the whole. Composition simulated inheritance has the advantage of preserving encapsulation by precluding the vertical entanglements normally associated with regular inheritance. In this class diagram we have an interface here called Boatable, Boat, B-O-A-T, Boatable, and five classes that implement this interface, Boat, Canoe, Motorboat, Rowboat, and Sailboat. Boat, up here in the upper left, implements the interface and does not add anything to it. Canoe, motorboat, rowboat, and sailboat each add some uh, field and a getter for that field to the interface and they have different behavior for their draw functions and display specification functions than this basic boat uh, implementer has here. These classes do not show all the functions that they implement. It's clear from the realization uh, implementer relationship that they all implement the functions of this interface. Instead, for illustrative purposes, to make things simple, we only show the key functions and fields that are not obvious. The black diamonds connect the holes to the part. Each one, the canoe, the motorboat, rowboat, and sailboat, each have a boat member in them. That's the part that they're wrapping. They're called wrapper classes. They wrap around the boat and when calls are made to their functions, they're forwarded to the corresponding functions in the boat class, which also implements boatable. And they have the option also of not forwarding to provide overridden behavior. These four wrapper classes, which uh, wrap the boat inside them, hide the implementation of boat through their own interfaces. Also note that the private fields in each one of these classes are constant. Here in the diagram they are labeled read only. And there's no setter functions in this interface. So these are all immutable classes. Once they're constructed they do not change and that makes them very solid and, and air proof. Here we see the boatable interface with its abstract functions to be implemented by the implementer classes. Display specs, draw a side view, draw a top view, some getters to provide uh, property information about a boat and a two-string. Here's the boat implementer. It has private fields to store the different attributes that are being um, provided by this interface implicitly through the getter functions. It has a constructor that takes all those attributes. They're all constants. Once the boat is set up, it's immutable. Here we see the canoe class. It has a boat a member, data member there. 
So it's wrapping that boat, which is private and read only within it. And its constructor takes boat, a boat, as one of its parameters, along with number of paddles, a new field, a specialized behavior for this particular kind of boat, a canoe. Similarly, the other boats take a boat uh, parameter in their constructor and they have their own added attributes, horsepower for the motor boat, number of oars for the rowboat, and the height of the mast for the sailboat. Here's the source code for the boatable interface, the interface keyword, the functions that it prescribes. Note the getters that don't really show data. There's no constant data fields here, but somehow the implementation has to provide these properties. The boat implementer implements boatable. It has the backing of these private constant fields and a constructor to accept them. So that's where the data will be hosted in this hierarchy, this re relationship of classes. Looking down through boat, it provides all the functions of the interface, including the getters, the two string, and the draw functions, and the display specifications. All the functions of the interface are provided in boat. Here's the source code for Canoe, one of the specialized implementers. It implements Boatable. Right here we have its boat member that it wraps. This is the composition right here. Boat is a part inside of the canoe hole. And the boat is passed into the constructor along with the number of paddles. Here display specs. It does not call the boat part, so this is a simulated override behavior. Similarly, the draw side view, draw top view are overrides. They do not make use of the boat part. Get category also just returns canoe as the name of the category. The getter functions, they call boats getter functions, so this is simulated reuse. They return uh, by forwarding a call to the boat part to do the job for them, so that's reuse of the boat functionality. So we have overrides by not calling the boat part, and we have reuse by calling the boat part. Here is a client program to uh, a client class to exercise these wrapper classes. In its main method, it has an array list of boatables. Interfaces can be used any place a regular type reference can be used. So we have this array list of boatables. We then have a boat reference that we're just going to use for convenience here to make the syntax uh, simpler to read. First we do a new boat passing in the name Mohican, its fiberglass, uh, the parameters about the hull, length, depth, width, and number of anchors. And then we add to the list of boatables a new canoe and pass in that boat object to its constructor along with for the canoe that it will have one paddle. We similarly add a rowboat, a motorboat, and a sailboat each time using boat to get us that part that we're going to pass in to the hole through the composition relationship and then down here we use an enhanced for loop to iterate through our list and we'll be referring to boatables because it's a list of boatables so 
For our first boatable, we display its specs. Next one, we draw the side view, then we draw the top view. Let's run this and scroll up to see the output. First, we get our canoe Mohican with its specifications. It displays its side view of the canoe, the top view, then a rowboat. Swanee with its specs, side view of the rowboat, top view of the rowboat with two oars. The motorboat called Purple Haze with its specs, side view and top view. And finally, the sailboat with its specs, its side view, and its top view.